Well, good evening. And we're happy tonight. How are you? That's the happy song. Let's just praise him for a few minutes. Happy, happy, happy. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Happy, happy. Good morning or good afternoon or whatever you uh, would want to call it. And yes, this is real. And my name is Gedrecki. And remember, of course, you know I'm a star in my glasses. My name is Buffy Shih Tzu. That's Buffy Shih Tzu. Now, 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 now. We won't have any of that. No, I am not named after the Shih Tzu dog. Because after all, who came first? Me or the dog? My, I come from a long line of Shih Tzus. That's our family name. And we named the dogs after Shih Tzu. Because their hair was as beautiful as, as mine. So my name is Buffy Shih Tzu. And we're just so glad to be with you today, tonight, this afternoon. I am a relationship expert. And these are some of my medals. I had too many to put on because, uh, you know, it, 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 it would just be too heavy for my neck. But the main one here is, as you see, it is a compass. So my, I have the road map to relationships. Tonight we're talking about relationships and we're talking about your significant other. Hopefully your significant other is your spouse, your friend, your, the other person besides yourself. And we as women, of course we know everything. We have all the answers. We have everything and we know everything and what God wants. Because we're women. We even know the way our husbands, our significant husbands should be. How they should be made up. How they should act. The way they should look. What they should be doing. What they should eat. We know it all. Because after all, we have the compass. We have the road map. And we're women. We know it all. Huh? Huh? Well, never mind the fact that uh, I know I heard someone say from out there that my thoughts are not, God said our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways are not his ways, but we have it all. We know everything. We know what they should be doing. And when they're not doing what we think they should be doing, we know that they're not right. And of course, that is written in stone. I am the relationship expert, Buffy Shitsu. I know, as you and I do, that you are sometimes totally frustrated because your husband is not doing what you know he shouldn't be doing. I mean, you know that you pray all the time and you fast all the time and you read your Bible and he should be doing all the same. In fact, you know that he should be a complete, 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 totally same as you. 
And if you're friendly or if you're out there greeting people, he should be out there too. Why is he sitting in the room by himself and you're out there trying to entertain people? Or if you're in the room and you like to be solid too, he should come in there and be solid too too. Or, in fact, we know it all, then he should know it all too. After all, you didn't hear it from anybody else, but you heard it from Miss Buffy Shitsu. God made us, and of course we women, we've got all the answers. That's why we're always happy, well, sometimes anyway. Why can't he, we're not going to be male bashing tonight, I don't believe in that. But I'm just exalting women to the top. I mean, after all, we, we, that's where we should be, at the top. I mean, we, 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 we made uh, above some kind of way, uh, whatever. We know it all. And why is he doing, playing or doing whatever he's doing and not there sitting next to me all the time? After all, I am beautiful. I'm awesome. You're awesome, ladies. So why can't he do exactly like I do and say like I say and be like I say and, and walk like I do and talk like I do and eat what I do and, and should I just go on? I mean, do you get the, get the message? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I am Buffy Shitsu and I am the relationship expert because I have the medal with the compass, the roadmap to your relationships. So you want to know, why can't your husband, your significant other, be like you? After all, we know all the answers. We're never wrong. Well, I mean, sometimes, but, you know, that's besides the point. Oh, you well, know, we have a pretty good percentage right. Uh, so far as Adam and Eve in the garden, well, that's something different. I, I don't even want to discuss that because, period, I just don't want We knew what was right. We just know. We know. We know. Uh, and, and, and for those of you that are theologically sound out there, I'm going to give you one scripture. That's all. Just one. Just one. And I, it's uh, Genesis, the, uh, the, the second chapter, and it says, and uh, I'm going to read the 24th verse. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. We are one. So why can't he be like me? Why can't he be like you? I know you, Carol, ba Betsy, Sue, Jesse, Deborah, uh, Del or Dolores, or, or, or Pam, or, or whatever your names are. There you represent me, just like I am. Buffy should do. Why can't they be like us? Because we are one. Well, it's food to think about. I want you to think about that. Because it, 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 the world would be a better place if all the men in the world would be like we ask them to be. The world would be in the most unusual place if all the men in the world would act the way we tell them to act and be the way we want them to be and eat what we ask them to eat and wear what we want them to wear and pray the way we want them to pray and talk and sing and do. Well, you get the point. Uh, so, now... I was sitting and musing over this topic tonight, and I was thinking about the fact that the Bible says, "To this course, shall a man leave his mother and father, and the two shall cleave to one, and cleave to each other, and become one." So, if you and I, women, we are complete in ourselves, we are one. Then you need to come along. Just come along. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Just come along. But then I thought about it. I said, "You know what? Wait a minute." Uh, perhaps um, that one, uh, if, if I'm complete and, 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 and he, where does he go? Where, where is, he? Uh, uh, is he? Is he a half of one or one and a half? Well, where is he? I, I mean, I, we're one of ourselves. And then I thought, perhaps he's half of the one. Hmm, interesting. I thought about a shoe, a body. It was just a body. And if we're one, just think about the fact that the husband and wife are like a body, okay? 
and we were one. Well, what if we only had, and we were just walking along, and we are complete, you and I, we, we got it all together, ladies. I mean, after all, you know we can do good by ourselves, and, you know, we, we, we just love our husbands, of course, and therefore we ask them, you know, come along, come along, you know, you know, to try to help them, you know, uh, you know, we're complete by ourselves. But if we were just one body, and we, we were one, and, and, and we are complete, well, I'm left-handed, so just say if I had a foot, one foot. I'm one. I'm complete. One foot. What else do I need? And so I'm turning to the left on my left foot. And then I'm getting ready to turn to the right. And then, then there's, a, there's a bump. There's a rock down there. So I have to jump over that rock, pick up my, my foot. Well, then I fall. Huh, there's something wrong. I might need another foot. Well, I am complete in myself. So def definitely that left foot could hold me. Uh, could it? Well, I have to admit, though, ladies, that if we had another foot, um, it would, and the foot, that other foot didn't look like the left foot, but the other foot was the right foot, that in case I had to pick up the left foot and step over a rock or something, I do have another foot to hold me, you know? So uh, maybe he's the right foot, or if you're the left foot, he's the right foot, or if you're the right foot, he's the left foot. Maybe he's the half. Of that hole? Mm. Well, just, I'm going to have a glass of water to think on that one. That's, that's, that's uh, interesting. Well, and they shall too be one. Well, if he's just like my left foot, what good is he? i got to pick up the left foot to step over the rock or the banana peel, you guys. You ladies, everybody, you hear what I'm saying? I'm not howling. I'm just trying to get my point over well, excuse me for a second. I got just too many glasses on. I got to take off one of these glasses. There you go. I see so much until, you know, I, I want the deep inside of what I'm saying. So I wore two pair of glasses. But now I'm okay now. I feel some type of anointing here. Anointing. N-O-I-N-T. Yes, I said anointing. Um, so if I'm the left foot. And, and I know it all. You and I, women, we got it all together. We know everything. We've seen everything. We've seen the wind, everything but the wind. And sometimes we might have seen that too, that's coming out of our mouth. Well, anyway, I can say that. And we pick up the left foot because there's a banana peel we're getting ready to fall, you know, to, to step on. So we fall down because we don't have a right foot. So apparently, well, ladies, I have to tell you this, but apparently we need something other than ourselves. Other than a left foot, we also need a right foot, okay? So we found out that they are the right foot then if you're the left foot, or they're the left foot if you're the right foot. Okay, let's go a little bit further. What if I had um, just one hand? I mean, there are people that only have one arm, you know, but let's just say those of us who say, let's just say, and just say, in my case, I'm left-handed. This is really a deep revelation, y'all. You need really to get this, you know? You know what I'm talking about? I'm Buffy shit school, and I've got it all. I'm a counselor of relationships. I have all the medals in the world. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And, oh, by the way, um, if you want to respond, you can respond to hashtag before time God is. And that will go to our media feed on our site at ellenbashinternational.us. That's hashtag before time God is. And you can respond there. And after the show, I'll respond back to you. There may be somebody there responding to you. But I'm going to continue on right now. That's hashtag before time God is. What if I was just left-handed, which I am? What if I only had one hand? Well, what if I was just going down, I was just walking, 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 walking down, the street, just walking somewhere, just walking with my left hand. And somebody wanted to give me something. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to, and I see a friend. I'm in the store, and I see a friend. Hi! Oh, yes, I'm Buffy Shitsu. Yes, it's me, the star. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm her. You say, what? You love me so much, and you've all, I've been such a help to you, you say? So you want to be a blessing to me, and you want to give me something? Okay, well, well, well I have, uh, you just have, I have my, my pocketbook in my hand right now, but uh, once I put my pocketbook down, but I can't put it down in the air, um, but you can give it to me, just, just hand it to me. Well, 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 like, what? It's just it's too big. You have, I have to carry it with you. I only have one hand. I'm complete with the one hand. I'm trying to tell you, this is Buffy Shitsu. Oh, and maybe perhaps I do need the right hand and the other hand. 
Well, maybe he's not only just the other foot, but he's also the other hand. The two shall become one. He's to make us the wholeness of us. He's the other part of what I don't have. So when I take both, I, come on here, honey, come on here. So my hand, my other right hand comes on, and we both get the blessing together. So we found out that even though we are complete ladies, we are perfect, we got it all together, we know everything. What if I had two left hands? It's not going to work. Have you ever seen anybody walking around with two left hands? Or just, it's not, the, the, the thumbs are going to be on the wrong side. You need the thumb over, one thumb on this side and one thumb on that side in order to help grip whatever. Well, what if I had, have you ever seen anybody with two left feet or two right feet? It's just not going to work. It's just, it just, it's not, it's, just, it's going to be difficult to walk like that with two left feet and two right feet. Well, what if I only had one eye? And there are people that just have one eye, and I'm not talking about those. God blesses them, and he enables them because they're born like that. But it is so much better if I had two eyes. What if I had an eye that only did one, it only looked in one direction? That's my left eye. Well, I can't see on the right side of my head. What if someone's going to knock the other side of my head and my left eye only goes to a certain distance and I can't really see the peripheral vision over on the right side? Well, okay, come on, honey. Come on, darling. Come on. Be the right eye. So now we know that, that our partner, our husband, is our right eye or in our right foot and our right hand or the other part of us that we don't have. The two shall be one. Interesting. I'm going to drink some water. This is beginning to get interesting, getting to get pretty deep. I, I thought that I wanted him to be a carbon copy of me because we are so wonderful ladies, but I don't know. If you have any happy glass right now, uh, let's just drink some happy juice. We're going to need some happy juice. This thing is getting a little bit deep here, okay? And so my friends up in, and my, my sisters up in, up in New York, just lift up your happy glass right now if you can. And agree with me because this is getting pretty deep here. I'm beginning to realize, even though I know we're all that in a bag of potato chips, the fact we're the cart of the change, we have the inside of the world, we know everything, we know things before it's going to happen, after it happens, when it happens, and if it wasn't going to happen, we even know that, and why it didn't happen when it didn't happen. We know everything. We're ladies, we're women. But I'm beginning to think that, you know, two left feet is not good, or two left hands is not good, or two left eyeballs is not good. Uh, you know, we need to have something other than the other part that will complete the whole. Hmm. The two shall be one. So therefore, you think perhaps he was saying, God was saying that uh, the two shall be one. It doesn't mean that the one is just me by myself because I got it all together and I'm great and I'm wonderful and I know everything. You mean that perhaps, just maybe, he is the other part of that that I don't have? No way. No way. No way. I have everything. I know it all. I can do it all. I'm all that in a bag of potato chips. Huh? Uh, I think that maybe you kind of slightly, slightly might not have it quite right, ladies. Well, what if I want him just like me? A carbon copy of me. The way I get up and pray, the way I read my Bible, the way I do things. What if I want him exactly that way? Huh? It's like having two left feet or two left hands? What? Look, we just sat up here. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to teach these women. I'm trying to teach here, okay? Huh? Who am I to judge another man's servant? What? I've got some folk here that are talking. They don't want to be on the screen. Somebody just said, who are you and I to judge another man's servant? Well, that's true. I mean, he, he is God's servant. So, I mean, I, were we really judging when we said that, you know, he didn't look like he was doing what he should do? Um, do we really know what he should do? I mean, who, who really is, 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 is transforming him and who really is growing him and who really, who only really can transform our husbands and our significant others, our husbands. Only God. Who are we to judge another man? Well, was that judging when I look? Why don't he just be the way he needs to be? Why don't he act the way I know he should act? Why don't you just come on here and do what I tell you to do? Be like me. Be what I say. Be. Huh? What'd you say? 
our ways are not God's ways? Well, I guess that is true, but, you know, I thought I was, you know, here, I was helping God out here, you know. Uh, no, I'm not saying that God needs help, but, uh, you know, I, I was putting my hand in the pot, you know, just stirring a little bit and, you know, and, you know, like, you know, try to help out here, you know. The two shall leave the mother and father, and they shall cleave to each other, and they shall become one. So he's not my left hand, or he's not a, a carbon copy of me, even though I, can, I can't even form him to be a part, part of me. Huh, interesting here. So if the two shall be one, and I am all that in a bag of tangents, I'm completing myself, well, what part is he? Hmm. I'm beginning to understand something. You know when you have a cake? And you got eggs, and you got butter, and you got sugar and milk and all that stuff in there. Well, when it really blends together, you have something completely different from the eggs, the milk, the sugar, and the butter, and the vanilla flavoring, whatever else you put in there. Listen to, listen to me, ladies. Listen to me, everybody. This is Buffy Shih Tzu. I am the relationship expert. I have the metals and I have the compass to your relationship. When you mix all those ingredients together, they were separate at first, but they began to cleave together through the heat. The heat, the heat brings about the gelling. And so it is in relationships. It is through the process of God that it brings about the gelling and making the cleaving to become one. And what is made when it comes out of the oven is something totally different from what went in. So when we go into a relationship with God, when we, as we're progressing through and allowing the Holy Spirit to, to come in and to gel us together, it's no longer, I know this is going to be hard, ladies, it is not just all about what you and I thought that we should be. But we come together, and, I, and he completes me, and I complete him. He is the half, and I am the half, and together we are the whole. So where I may be, I know this is hard and kind of like, you know, kind of humbling and hard for you to believe, but I may be very controlling, think I know it all. He may tend to be very passive, but with authority. Where I may be slightly, I know this is hard to understand and believe, but I may be slightly impatient, just slightly. He will be patient. Whereas I may be, I know this is all hard, but I'm just saying this to help somebody, you know, that might not necessarily be about you or me. Where I may be uh, 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 kind of like uh, spontaneous, and I thought he was too slow, but that's the balancing act. He's the speed that he is, and I'm the speed that I am, and as we keep God first, he brings the gel together, and we become the perfect timing together. So, the two shall become one. Ladies, I hate to tell you this, but that didn't mean that the two shall become like you and I. That didn't mean that your husband should become like you. I thought it did. I mean, we're one. We're awesome. We're awesome. We're the bomb. We're the ball. We, we, we're, the, we're the bomb. The ball that rolls up the hill. We are the great one. We are the awesomeness. We are all that in a bag of potato chips. But we are totally off. You didn't hear me. Did you hear me? That this is Buffy Shih Tzu telling you. That it's not all about you, it's us together. It's us together. I lost somebody there, but it's okay. It's the truth anyway. That's why I have the medals here. It's us together. God bless them. He blessed us together. When the blessing came from the lady in the store, my left hand wasn't enough to be able to hold it. I had to call her, come on here, honey, come on here. And, bring, and, and, and he came on. And together, I needed my right hand to get the fullness of the blessings. So ladies, I'm here to tell you tonight, I know it's hard to believe it, but 
The two that have become one, we need our husbands. They are a part of us, and we are a part of them. You and I don't know it all, and he is not a carbon copy of what we think he should be. So let's be happy in knowing that whatever it is that I'm lacking, I know it's hard to believe that you're lacking in something. It is very hard to believe that I know, but there are things that we are not, we don't have at all. Just say, like, you may be good in money management, and he may be good in dealing with people. Or you may be good in, in organizing, and he's good in, 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 in separating. Or you may be good in driving, and he's good in sleeping. Well, anyway, you understand what I'm trying to say. There we complement each other. So let's have a glass of water, something, some happy juice on that. You didn't hear it from me, or you didn't hear it from anybody, but you heard this from Buffy Shipsu. If you really want to be happy for the rest of your life, the song might have said, never let a pretty woman in your life. Well, that's too late. We're gorgeous, ladies. They were, we're already in their lives. But if you want to be happy, if you want to be happy like the song said, then we're going to learn, Lord, I bless my husband. I bless him, God, because the more that he is blessed, the more that I am blessed, because we are blessed together, because we are one. And instead of looking at what he doesn't have, I will celebrate what he does have, because God knows I'm great when he ain't looking at what I ain't got. I mean, I mean, you know, it's between you and I, we ain't all that. We are great, you know, we're stars, but you know, still, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, um... So I'm going to learn to bless him. I'm going to learn to pray, to thank God for him. I'm going to pray for him. I'm going to encourage him. I'm going to lift him because the more he's lifted up, the more I am lifted up because we are one. Because God blessed them. Well, for the last few minutes of this, I got three minutes left. I'm going to just play my happy song because I think this is something I want you just to think about because this is worth thinking about. The two that God blessed, he's not a carbon copy of you, but he's, he's what God wants him to be. And that's important. I have to learn that. And when I learn that, uh, it's just nice. It's just nice. Now, come on, song. Come on. Come on. We ain't got but a few minutes. Stop acting stupid. Okay, come on, come on, come on, go back, happy, play your song, okay, so I want to encourage you tonight, you heard this from Buffy, Buffy Shitsko, ladies, you can be happy in Jesus, you can be happy, but you've got to allow God to do it, you can't do it yourself, you have to allow God to do to make what he wants of both of you. Because together we are one. Together we are one. Together. You heard it from me. Buffy shit scoo. Together we are one. Okay. You know, like sometime the night happy. Come on, play the song. Well, I just want to encourage you. And I'm going to pray for you tonight. Father. In the precious name of Jesus. Lord, it's hard sometimes to realize that our ways are not your ways. It's hard sometimes to realize that what we think the way it should be. God, we ain't got a clue as to how it should be. It's hard sometimes to realize, Lord, that you put us both together. And together we are one. Not separate. And we don't have it all. But together, we have it all. And so God, help us during that time when we want to try to take over and we want to do what we think it should, we should do. Help us, God, to realize that we don't know it all. But you do. And so God, we thank you for it. We praise you for it. And I strengthen my sisters. I strengthen my friends, my brothers, my daughters, my sons. And I encourage them to let them know that they can be happy in Jesus. Because as we're going and we're listening, we allow the Lord, the Holy Spirit, to mold us and make us into that one through the fiery trials. As iron sharpened iron, 
then we will be happy in Jesus. And so I love you, and my time is up, and my happy song wouldn't play, but that's okay. I'm still happy. I love you. This is Buffy Shih Tzu saying, God bless you. Stay tuned, because I believe and I know that we're having another live broadcast with Bishop Scott. God bless you, and be happy in Jesus. I love you. Buffy Shih Tzu, signing out.